What's going on guys, Destin here, and we're looking at a 2025, I know already, Coleman 17R. So they did a lot this year. This isn't like the 17 lineup from years past. They uh, just about completely redid the thing. It's not produced by Dutchman anymore. It is produced by Keystone now. So at the front, you still get a 20 pound LP tank, standard tongue jack, and a solar prep right behind there is going to be standard. So you st still can add a briefcase panel if you want to. Now, they've redone the skins on the outside. All done is the gray. It's more of like a white and black kind of exterior now. Cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, magnetic door catches this year, which is kind of cool. So no more ripping the clips off. And another big thing is it's a full pass-through this year. So they give you a lot more storage space. No questions anymore about what you can fit in there. You can fit whatever you need to. Still got an eight foot power awning. That hasn't changed, but what has changed is the water heater in this. So they've switched over to a tankless water heater. Done are the days of six gallon ones. You can take a real shower finally. Rear stabilizers on the back of the coach. Sewer hose space in the bumper. And then backup camera prep is coming standard this year still. On the back side is going to be all your hookups. So you got your city water connection, 30 amp power connection. And then of course to the back is going to be all of your sewer hookups. Now one change this year from years past is they blacked out the rims on them. So it kind of matches that that new black scheme that they're going for. It looks a lot better than the steelies that that used to be on there. Now let's head inside because this is where everything changed this year and i'm pretty excited so they do solar flex prep on this it's not like other keystone products where you'll have solar flex standard it's ready to go for it if you wanted to add the panel up on the roof it's easy enough to do so let's head on in so they've redone the interiors this year they went with more of like a, a light wood beech wood kind of color i think it looks really really sharp North, south bed this year, so you can actually walk around on both sides, you can actually make the bed. It took up a little bit more of the living area space, or the floor space I should say, but not enough to really make a difference. I, I think this is going to be a good change. Underneath this bed, you get a bunch of storage underneath there, which you do get access from the, the bottom of the bed area there too. So really nice change to see that. Up above you're going to get a cabinet a little bit of overhead storage there and both sides are going to have an outlet this time so you can both plug your phones in there's usb chargers on both sides the window is your fire exit here you do get pleated shades on that so you can black it out a little bit still you got a side mount air conditioner 5000 btu i think so that's a nice little upgrade you can at least keep cool on the the warm days there and that gets us into the kitchenette. So they redid their countertops this year. It looks sharp. You got a two burner cooktop. You got a little sink. A little bit of storage up above. So you can do your cups and your bowls and all that good stuff. Now here is a huge change from years past. My biggest problem with these campers was you didn't have any source of heat in these things. It was an electric fireplace. Gone is the electric fireplace. You have a real heater in this now. So it's a propane based heater. It makes a world of difference if you're actually going to stay in it through through cold season here. Underneath there you get a big, big storage area. And I got two extension drawers here for a little bit more storage. The dinette's nice and easy. It'll convert to a bed if you need the extra sleeping space. They give you a nice little spot for your shoes right underneath that back dinette area. Really nice because I see that in like the, the Keystone Cougars. And I'm glad they brought it into their inexpensive lineup too. TV mount right by the bathroom door here with a little bit more overhead storage over the dinette. You get a window that actually opens up. And across from there is going to be our mini fridge, got a microwave, 
and a little bit more storage space over the fridge here. And that gets us into the bathroom. So not much has changed out back here. Uh, toilet placement's good. You got a shower stall, which is big enough to do your business in. I'll give you a little head bubble here. And speaking of pointing up at the ceiling, my interior height compared to previous Coleman's, I, I don't know the exacts off the top of my head. I'll make sure it's in the video. But the interior height is significantly taller than years past in the Coleman, the 17 lineup. So if you are a little bit taller, this might make the difference for you. Nice little bit of storage out back. You got the full wardrobe underneath. There's a few services right under there. But that's about the, the tour here. All of course, you got your controls for your uh, tankless hot water heater. But that's about it. There's the Coleman 17R in a nutshell. Um, if I forgot anything, reach out, leave a comment. Happy to help out. Make sure to follow along for more. Thanks for watching.